Let's calculate the limit when n approaches to infinity of minus n plus 1 divided by minus n plus 3 raised to the power of 2n. We have the limit of power and this is the same as the limit when n approaches to infinity of minus n plus 1 divided by minus n plus 3 everything raised to the limit of the exponent. Let's calculate the limit of the quotient of the polynomial. We have that the result would be infinite divided by infinite. So that's an indeterminate form. Solve it. We divide the numerator and the denominator by the n of the th highest exponent. In the numerator and in the denominator we have n raised to 1. So we divide by n raised to 1. We would have minus n divided by n plus 1 divided by n divided by minus n plus 3 divided by n. That's equals to the limit when n approaches to infinity of minus 1 plus 1 divided by n divided by minus 1 plus 3 divided by n. So everything that is divided by n is 0 as n approaches to infinity. So we have minus 1 plus 0 divided by minus 1 plus 0 which is 1. So we would have 1 raised to a limit when n approaches to infinity of 2n which would be infinite making the result 1 raised to infinite and that's also an, indet an indeterminate form an indeterminate form means that we can get to know the result as we should know an indeterminate form of 1 raised to infinite will be a limit of number e. We know that the formula for the limit when n approaches to infinity of a sub n and b sub n is equals to e raised to a limit when n approaches to infinity of b sub n times a sub n minus 1. In our case this limit would be e raised to a limit when n approaches to infinity of 2n times minus n plus 1 divided by minus n plus 3 minus 1. And this is e raised to a limit when n approaches to infinity of 2n but let's calculate this down here minus n plus 1 divided by minus n plus 3 minus 1 equals the minimum common factor is minus n plus 3 so minus n plus 1 and on the other denominator minus n plus 3 that is on the denominator minus n plus 3 and the numerator minus n plus 1 minus minus n plus 3 this would be the denominator stays the same and the numerator is minus n plus 1 plus n minus 3 and that is minus 2 
divided by n plus 3. We would have e raised to a limit when n approaches to infinity of minus 4n divided by minus n plus 3. Now you'll have to do the limit as homework. But I'll tell you the result. That is e raised to 4. That's the solution for the given limit.